Hello, I'm unmuted now. Um, I'm actually in Italy. Um, I'm from Vancouver. Is everyone ready to go? Rock yep. and roll. Rock and roll. So how are you? Fine. I'm sorry about the whole table thing. We would have made room if we could. You got it. Well, that's good, I guess. Fine. Things haven't been going well, and she decided that it would be best if we split up. What do people say about fine? Wasn't it something like freaked out, insecure, narcoleptic? No, no, it's not narcoleptic. And uh, emotional. I don't remember what the N stands for, but I think what they're trying to say is that fine usually isn't fine. Weirdo. Who are you talking to? In fact, it usually means the opposite of fine. Oh, Taylor. Um, this is Sam. He's new. Wait, Sam? Neurotic. It's freaked out, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. And people don't say that. Mark Wahlberg says that in the Italian job. You must be Caitlin. It's nice to meet you. My name is Devin. Oh. Hi. Counseling. Really? My dad sent me up for counseling, see, and I tell him I don't want to go, and he tells me that he's already made the appointment with someone named Devin, so I think to myself, okay, Devin, that doesn't sound like a creepy old man's name. I could talk to a sexy guy for an hour every week, so I agree to go, and I spent like 10 hours getting ready before we left so I could impress my hot new counselor, and I'm here, and you're not a sexy man, you're a woman, and I spent all day prepping my body and mind for a man, and now I'm just needing to reevaluate everything. What's so special about a moody high school girl? the same classic trope with everyone. Her friends gossip, her teachers suck, she's on her period, her parents are getting a divorce. Sounds like the same old thing to me. I can tell there's a special story that's going to come out of it. 